So are you even thinking about moving to Quad Cities? Well, if that's the case, you have probably heard of Bettendorf, Iowa. It is one of the cities here, and you probably have heard some good things, maybe some bad things. But in this video, we're going to go over seven reasons why you really shouldn't move to Bettendorf, Iowa. If you want to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play in the Quad Cities, you're really going to want to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many calls, texts, emails from folks like you for either moving or relocating to the area. We absolutely love it. So if that's you, send us a text, give us a call. Heck, send the Pony Express if you want to. We're here for you. Now, if you're not familiar where I'm at, I'm actually at Crow Creek Dog Park behind me. And it's one of the first reasons I wanted to bring up me and my dog Zoe. We wanted to get out here because the weather is super beautiful. But the reason I wanted to bring that up is because sometimes the weather here in Bettendorf may be a little undesirable. Specifically, is the winter time. We're in the fall right now, beautiful day. Obviously, it's a little bit warmer than normal. I think it's almost 75 degrees right now. But we know it's gonna be one of the last days in fall that we can actually get out, enjoy the weather, because winter is coming. It gets super cold here during the winter, and we get a lot of you know, snow coming in. So you really shouldn't move here if you don't like winters because we have it. It starts, you know, November, late November, goes all the way through February, sometimes even into March. So be prepared for that. If you want to move to Bettendorf, just be know that, yes, we have winter here and some people are not going to like it. One thing about Bettendorf, and I don't know why it is, but the thing that annoys me a lot is the design of the parking lots that are around the shopping centers, uh, different places that you want to go and actually eat. For some reason, again, I don't know why, the parking lots are just absolutely terribly designed. One that really comes to mind is the Home Depot parking lot area. For some reason, they have it at an angle. You don't know who's supposed to go, who's supposed to stop. It just feels like you're always gonna crash when you're in that parking lot. Maybe that was their intention, I don't know. But that is one thing that's a little bit obscure that you probably won't learn anywhere else, but is quite annoying to me. Right, Zoe? Good girl. So it may not look like it, but we're actually in the heart of Bettendorf. Now, if you don't know where this is, this is Crow Creek Park. It has a dog park, it has baseball diamonds, it's got this pond back behind it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But one thing that Bettendorf doesn't really have much of is a downtown area. They're trying to develop right now, but there's really not a whole lot going on down there. You know, for one reason, obviously Bettendorf is only about 36,000 people. So it just really doesn't have a need for a large downtown. Say like Davenport, they're much larger, 100,000 people. They actually have a legitimate downtown where Bettendorf really doesn't. It's got nice places like this, but downtown, not so much. Now I did say before that they are developing it. We just got a new I-74 bridge there. And because of that, they're getting a lot more foot traffic because I-74 bridge does have a bike trail that goes across it. So they really are trying to develop it, bring in new businesses. I know there's a new Japanese restaurant opening up down there. So they are trying to make it into something that people want to go to. But right now it is a little lacking. So if that's important to you, you really need to think about it because Bettendorf, downtown, not so much. Hey, if you get as excited about these videos as Zoe does arriving to the dog park. Are we here? We're at the dog park. Hit that like button so I know that you're getting some information about it so I can keep making these videos to let you know what it's like living in the Quad Cities. If shopping's your thing, maybe Bettendorf isn't the place for you because Bettendorf really doesn't have a lot going on as far as shopping goes. Now I'm talking shopping as in clothing stores. I'm not talking shopping like as in groceries and stuff. We have plenty of that. But, you know, the only caveat to this argument is Davenport super close and there's a big shopping center right along 53rd that you can do a ton of shopping technically not a Bettendorf address and there really isn't a ton of actual Bettendorf address shopping 
So if that's your thing, maybe reconsider Bettendorf because it might be lacking in terms of the actual shopping that you can do right within Bettendorf. So another downside of Bettendorf is really the public transit that is here. Yes, if you go onto their website, they say they have it, which is technically true, but they don't have their own. They use Davenport and Moline's transit system to come into Bettendorf, and they only have three different routes. So it's very, very lacking. It doesn't get you to a lot of places. So if public transport is important to you, you really gotta think about Bettendorf because yeah, they do have it, but is it really all that worthwhile? Mm, you decide. As you guys know, I make a ton of videos about what it's like to live here in the Quad Cities, and every now and then, I run out of ideas to talk about. And in those times, I go to my trusted business partner here, Zoe, ask her what she thinks, and the next one was actually her idea. So if you like it, hit that like button to let her know that you do enjoy watching her videos. Okay, let's go. So what was Zoe's idea as far as things that you really want to watch out for in Bettendorf, Iowa? Well, it's one of her favorite things and that deals with food. She likes nothing more than a good bowl of food and in Bettendorf, food options are a little bit lacking for a better term. Yeah, we have food options here. We got places like Tanglewood, we got Five Cities. You know, those are some main staples in Bettendorf, but there's not as many choices as it, say if you went into Davenport. So if you like going to different restaurants all the time and you want it super close to where you live, Bettendorf might not be for you. And if you do still want to live in Bettendorf, be ready to you know take that on as a possibility. Now another thing that you really need to think about, and it's more of a personal thing for me, if you have a driveway that goes right into the street, for some reason, they have a little curb that you really can't get rid of and it is quite annoying because you know if you have a low car you're gonna bottom out every single time and it is something to watch out for if you are moving to Bettendorf because most likely you're gonna get a house that has one of these curbs and there's not a lot you can do about it so definitely think about it if you're moving to Bettendorf, Iowa. There's only so much I can cover in one video, so if you want to know more, check out this video right here where I cover everything you really need to know about Bettendorf, Iowa.